The beaches of Rio de Janeiro are oases of freedom and energy, even in the midst of a deadly pandemic. Everyone seems to be on the move, on land and sea. Sidestepping the crisis with healthy exercise and moments of deep contemplation. But while Rio may look youthful, it's the Brazilian city with the largest proportion of elderly people. And they're especially vulnerable to COVID-19. This bar immortalized the image of Rio de Janeiro as a city of young and beautiful women. It was here that two musicians, Vinícius de Moraes and Tom Jobim, wrote to the song The Girl from Ipanema. They were inspired by 18-year-old Eloisa Pinheiro walking to the beach in her bikini. That girl is now a grandmother and over 60 years old, like 13% of the city's population. Vaccination began in Rio earlier this month, and the elderly are the first in line. The mayor promised to inoculate all by March. But fighting the pandemic here has been especially difficult. The city's aging population needs younger caregivers, who usually live in poor neighborhoods and have to take a crowded bus to work. All the attempts at, at maintaining it, at the utmost social distancing possible, it's still very difficult. So what happened, I think, during the first big wave was that lots of elderly people were, got sick, got sick fast because one of their caregivers got sick. And um, this, um, this problem still exists. Copacabana is a rich middle-class neighborhood with a high COVID death rate. Three out of 10 people here are over 60. But in the nearby slum, up on the mountain, the younger population faces a different problem. They would probably survive the virus, but will struggle to survive another lockdown. This time of the year, this beach would be packed with tourists from the United States and Europe, not now. I've been walking from one end to the other and can't even make half of what I used to make. The vaccination campaign has brought hope to most Brazilians, but 25-year-old Wenderly knows he'll have to wait a long time before it's his turn. Until the tourists come back, life on the beach will be far from carefree. Monica Yanakia, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.